figure out, again, uh, kind of an easy way for beginners to play, uh, play this song. So this is Level of Concern by 21 Pilots. And I uh, just wanted to share it with you. So um, basically, you just need to know some chords. <laughs> you got to know your, um, your basic chords. So I'll walk you through the chords and the strum pattern. Um, what I've covered here is um, just an easy way to play the verse and an easy way to play the chorus. So with that being said, let's get into it. Um, what you want to do is uh, you don't need capo, just standard tuning. And then we're just going to start with a C chord. So your index finger is going to sit down on first fret of the B, middle finger, second fret of the D, ring finger, third fret of the A. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to strum down, all right? And then you're going to do a chunk. Um, there's different ways to do a, I'm calling it a chunk. I don't know what else to call it. It just kind of makes a chunk sound. Um, and it's a, it's kind of like a muted sound as well. So you're going to strum down, come up, then chunk down. Okay. And the way I'm doing that is I'm just kind of like lightly karate chopping the strings with my right hand as I chunk the pick across the strings. Okay. So right after that chunk, you're going to go up, down, up. So you've got then you're going to chunk again. Then you're going to go up, down, up, and chunk again. So that chunk is kind of like your rhythm. It's kind of like a pulse that keeps happening behind this strum pattern. So you've got All right, so that's the strum pattern essentially. So to set up the next chord, which is A minor, you're going to do one last upstrum. All right, and I'll show you how that kind of fits all together. So you're going to do one last upstrum on the C. Then you're going to move your ring finger down to second fret of the G. So your index finger and middle finger are still where they were on the first fret of the B and uh, second fret of the D. All right, so here's what we got. I'm gonna to try to play this slow. So we're starting on the C, we're gonna go down to that A minor. And the strum pattern is, is pretty much the same the whole time. So we've got. And we'll go back to C. So as you can see, that's a really easy way to just switch between the C and the A minor. So what's going to happen in the song, what I think I figured out is that um, it'll go C to A minor twice, then it's going to go C to A for the last time setting up the chorus. So let's check that out. So we've got... So that third time, I just went to an A chord. So if you look at the A minor, you've got your middle finger and your ring finger on the second fret of D, and ring finger is on second fret of G. You just add your pinky here to, to second fret of B. All right, now we're gonna go into the chorus. So just to remind you what the chorus sounds like, we've got We've got pretty much the same strum pattern, except we need to jump up to that C like immediately. So first chord of the chorus, E minor, I'm doing middle finger, 
second fret of A, ring finger second fret of D. And then I'm jumping right up to the C. So I'm doing down and I'm doing the chunk. And then on the up, I'm catching the C. So the C, same as before. So the strum pattern, down, chunk, up, down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk. All right, that's what we've got so far. So after that up strum, we're gonna do a walk down, all down strums. So I'm gonna go So what that is, ring finger is where it is on the C chord. And you can, if you want, you can actually accentuate the lower notes of the chord. Just the walk down notes if you want. I kind of focus my strum on the A string. So what you're doing is you're walking from the low note on the C chord on the third fret of the A string. You're gonna jump your middle finger up to second fret on the A string. And then you're gonna go to an A minor chord. So you've got, and if you, again, if you wanna just focus on the lower notes of the chord to kind of emphasize that, that walk down. So here's what we got. So that's, G, all right? So for G, I'm just setting middle finger, third fret of the low E, and I'm muting out the A string with the bottom of my middle finger. So the A string is muted out. Then I'm adding uh, ring finger, third fret of B, pinky, third fret of high E. All right. I think it's going to be an up strum. So we've got down, and then you got your chunk up. As you can see, I'm doing two up strums on the G. Then I'm going to D. So for D, I'm just doing index finger, second fret of G, middle finger, second fret of high E, ring finger, third fret of B. All right, so let's just cover everything in the chorus up to the D chord, and then I'll show you what I'm doing on the D chord. So here's what we got so far going all the way to the D chord. So we've got... So when I get up to that D chord, here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to go from the A minor just to keep the flow here. So we've got... So we've got down, up, up, down, down, up, chunk. Okay. Down. So we've got down, chunk, up, up, down, down, up, chunk, up, down, down. All right. last two downs, I'm kind of karate chopping the strings after those to kind of hit those hits. So we've got, again from the A minor, down, chunk, up, up, down, down, up, chunk, up, down, down. All right, I know that's confusing, but if you practice that a few times and then speed it up, I assure you it'll sound good and it'll work. So. Looking at the whole chorus, okay? So we've got. All right. So let's see if we can play the verse and the chorus all together. All right, so we we'll start on the verse, we're starting on C chord, and I'll try to play this all a little slower. So we got one, two, three, four. Second time.
your time going to the A. So that should get you a good start on this song. I'm pretty sure that the um, the bridge, like the chilled out bridge, is, is the same chords as the chorus. So go ahead and just kind of mess around with that. Use your ears. Um, hope this video helped you out. Go ahead, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.